Try that again. Good morning, everybody. Before the choir comes up, ah, let's do that again. I didn't give you guys time to respond when I said good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right, that, that feels really good, actually. Uh, I just want to say it's a blessing to have you here. Uh, if you're joining with us and you're a guest, we want to say thank you. Uh, for everybody else, we want to say, you know, welcome home. We believe that this is one of the things that we find in being here with International Christian Fellowship. And before the choir comes up, Pastor Sam asked me to give uh, a couple reports in terms of what we did yesterday. Um, if you don't know, yesterday uh, a couple of us went to Rockland Lake and we decided to just be with people where they are. Uh, it was a really nice day yesterday and that being the case, a lot of people were walking around, having picnics, spending time in the playground and jogging. And a couple of years ago what ICF did was they set up a canopy and they would give away free water bottles and free blood pressure checks. Uh, this year, what we decided to do, we decided to do something similar where we set up a canopy and we, we gave people free water. And what was interesting about the water was we were able to 
customize the labels for these water bottles so that we could tell them uh, who we are. We are International Christian Fellowship. We told them what our address was, what our website was, what the phone number was, and even the time of our worship service on a Sunday. Um, but even better than giving out um, more than 100 water bottles uh, to strangers, we were able to talk to a couple people as well. Some of our conversations were short. Some of our conversations were actually pretty long. Um, and you can't really put a price tag on that. Uh, being able to be with people, and one of the things that people constantly would ask us as a group was, who are you guys? What are you doing here? And when we told them, we're, we're just here giving free water, and we actually grilled up some food and gave people hot dogs and burgers. And the constant question we were asked was, why? As if being generous was just, is just so foreign in today's day and age. But it was within that moment where we were able to tell them, you know, like we said, where God's grace is most clearly seen in the generosity of his people, we told them, well, we give because we've been giving much. We are a church, but more than that, we've been shown grace and love by our Lord Jesus. And they would take that as they would, but no matter what, that seed was planted. And we also know that week after, um, month after month, we're going to be spending more time there. And our prayer is that after a while, when people see us, they know exactly why they're there, and they know what they could find in terms of us serving the community and wanting to actually be with them. Um, on a last note, two of the people that I'm glad I got to spend time with uh, were two of the people who worked at Rockland Lake, uh, this one lady named Teresa and another guy named Vic. Um, one of the things I talked about with Vic, I, he came back like three times, and I got to walk with him for a bit. You got this sense that people tend to turn a blind eye to the people when they're working there. Uh, a lot of people, park workers, kind of get treated like day laborers. So the fact that we treated them with generosity, care, and love uh, really got to him where, by the end of the day, we, we high-fived like 20 times. And to know that we're going to be able to go back and I'm going to be able to see him because he works there, um, giving us a chance as a church to develop relationships with people who work there and people who come, come regularly go there, it just sounds like the right thing to do. So we're going to do this again next month. I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to set a cap in terms of how many people go. We would like more people to go, but we don't want to overly saturate ends of the park. Maybe we can do different parts of the park as groups so that it's not like 60 people coming up to a single person offering them a water bottle. Um, FYI, using little kids to give water bottles is almost a sure thing, so we'll go with that. So thank you for your prayers. Thank you for everybody who helped out. Look forward to the next one, and we'd love to partner with you because you never know what seeds you're going to plant. You never know... Um, whose life is going to be saved by the gospel of Jesus that day. So thank you. Amen.